gosh. I wish you could feel this on video. I'm gonna feel it. Boy. I think a boy. So we're gonna take blood from Newt's jugular vein. The jugular vein runs in the jugular furrow between these two muscles here. And a lot of times it's right underneath this cowlick right here. So that's a marker. If we close off at the thoracic inlet right here, you can see when you let your fingers go down into this slot, it, I'm going to close off both thoracic inlets. So the blood is backing up and is filling up the veins on both sides. And that helps it stand out. So we'll wet it down with a little rubbing alcohol. See if you can see it. And I think you can. If I bounce that, you can see that vein right there. Is it standing up? Right along through there. Look, if I move it, maybe you can see it right there. Can you see it on the film? Ooh, look at that. So it shines off of there, and when you bounce it, you can see the vein under there. You can, you can visualize the thickness of it. You can feel it. I don't know if you can see it, but I can feel it. it's right here. It's like a rope. Feel that rope under there. Good boy. Be a good boy. Yes. Good boy. Needle's too short. So once it's in the vein, I want to hold that needle still. And so I'm bracing my hand against my other hand, which will move with the dog. If the dog moves, both hands will move together. I'm trying to hold the tip of the needle still where it is and let it just flow into the open syringe. I'm just not pulling too hard on the suction. I'm just creating an empty space and allowing the blood to flow in there. Good job. This jugular vein is black here that runs in the jugular furrow. It's created by these muscles of the neck here and here. And if you feel on the dog, it's actually an indentation, a groove here or a furrow that it runs in. This vein has a mind of its own though. Sometimes it runs wide, sometimes it runs up here closer to the trachea. The trachea is under here, under this sternothyroidus muscle. So we can feel the trachea, move off to the side, feel that furrow, run our finger down the furrow and plug the thoracic inlet and then allow this vein to fill up with blood and then it stands up better for us. Very muscular, but you can, her trachea is always right in the middle. And then I can feel these jugular furrows. You can see where those muscles come together into that groove right there, the jugular furrow. And I run my fingers down to the uh, thoracic inlet and I'm going to hold off that vein. And again, right under this little cowlick is a vein. So let's see if we turn our head this way, see if it'll stand up for the camera. But I can feel it and I can I bounce it and feel it and I get a feeling of where it is all the way up along there. I'm gonna wet it down with some alcohol. Maybe it'll shine and show up better for you. You're a good girl. I know it's cold. But this one, I don't know if I bounce it like that. You can see it, it's running right along here. And so sometimes it's even hard for me to see it. I will lay my finger right beside it. I know it's right there. I can feel it right along through there. So I'm stabilizing with my finger oh, and I get my absolutely. needle ready and I'll go through the skin and into the vein a nice smooth firm confident stroke and I didn't go all the way in the vein but I'm under the skin so oh I went through the vein I was in there and it just had to be repositioned a little bit so I'm gonna lock my two hands together and I'm gonna apply gentle pressure just enough suction to allow the blood to flow and so I'm up against the edge of the vein right now it's not flowing so I have to position again and there you can see it's starting to flow there it's in a nice position now I'll try to hold that tip exactly where it is and move with the dog if I need to because this one's very positional that's all I'm gonna get that's all I need oh my gosh I wish you could feel this on video I'm gonna feel it. Yep. I don't know if you can see that on video. You can see it kind of rolling. Can you? Mm -hmm. It's puffing. You can see, see it, it bouncing. You can see yes. it bouncing right there. Mm -hmm. That's her vein. So and what landmarks are you using to look for that? So then it's in this jugular furrow. So there's this muscle along the edge here, and there's a muscle here, and there's there's like a there's like a furrow or a gully or a groove right there. 
and it sits right in there her trachea is right here in the middle so a lot of times i put my finger on the trachea and i know that it's over to the side of that and then i can feel it and i don't need any help for this one okay i don't need help for this one you could think of fart lick, but you couldn't think of intervals. No, because I don't do intervals, I do fart licks. Okay. <laughs> Dr. Smith, that's not how you do it. Who decides how you do it? 